Good morning, my friends. Welcome to Keswick Chapel of the Chew. I'm Pastor Robert. This is day five. This week we're wrapping up, today we're wrapping up the Chews for this week on the way of Jesus is the way of anticipation. Our three theological affirmations from Luke chapter 2 verses 21 through 41 are the way of Jesus is availability, the way of Jesus is the way of awareness, and the way of Jesus is the way of audacity. I pray you find yourself having much better insight into the way of Jesus as the way of anticipation this week from our Chews. I want to encourage you to go back and listen to the Chews from the previous four days. And then I want you to ask yourself some questions. You know, we have to dedicate ourselves to being available in order to place ourselves in a position for God to grace us. As we dedicate ourselves to biblical exploration, to prayer, to fellowship, our awareness grows and we become more sensitive to the Father's whispers through the Holy Spirit. And we live our lives as Jesus, Simeon, and Anna did in, antis in anticipation. Availability and awareness will bring us to a place of living out in an audacity way. Or we, I want to say audacious is what I really want to say, but audacity, having the audacity, the boldness to do what is right at the right time when we're led by the Holy Spirit. When we've looked at these verses this week, we've discovered the three theological affirmations were at work. And perhaps like myself, you're beginning to realize that they are coupled together in such a way with anticipation that they actually create a perpetual movement one leading to the others in a very fluid fashion. So ask yourself these questions. Are you living in anticipation? Are you living out being available, availability? Are you willing to live boldly, to have audacity for Christ? Both Simeon and Anna lived the way of Jesus in this regard. They lived with an anticipation, and they were available, and they were aware, and they had the audacity to do what they felt led to do when the time comes, or when the time came. We need to be willing to do that same thing. So I want to encourage you to go back and reread this passage to read the verses that we've touched on this week. Then ask yourself this question. Am I willing to take the steps Jesus is leading me to take to live his way? The way of Jesus, my friends, is the way of anticipation. Jesus lived expectantly. Will you? Which way are you choosing, my friends? Are you choosing the way of Jesus? Or are you choosing your own way? I pray that as you read Luke chapter 2, verses 21 through 40, that you will ask the Holy Spirit to give you eyes to see and ears to hear His truth. That you'll have a receptive heart and mind to receive those truths. And then that you'll ask for the boldness of Christ to take the actions that you're led to take. I pray you'll have a wonderful day, my friends. Blessings to you. Go in the peace of God. Bye for now.